Peace and love, fam. You already know what it is. You already know who it is. You know why we're here. So let's get right into it. Now, if you're here for what I'm here for, then that means you're here for change, real change, radical change, change that we can implement and make applicable in our lives today. Now, it's another episode of The Angry Black Man, and once again, I'm angry, and I got a lot of reasons to be, but today, I choose one. Now, today, I'm angry because I was sitting back listening to some music, man, and as I'm listening to the music, you know, I'm noticing that music is different today than it was when I was younger, and I'm sure um, when... My generation was growing up, the older generation was looking there, listening to the music, like, what the hell are they doing? You know, screaming into the microphone, making all that noise, you know, taking all their frustrations out on that microphone. But, you know, that was a stage that gave young people a voice to speak, you know, what was inside of them. And I get that. Our, you know, you can't really knock somebody's artistry and what they call art when they putting it out there. You just got to recognize the passion that goes behind it. But I'm looking at the music today and I'm thinking about what makes a hit song because all the hit songs got a formula. And, you know, people, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So the formula is this. You got to call women bitches. You got to say bitch at least four, seven, 59 times. Uh, you got to mention your clothes by labels. Even if you're not wearing those clothes at that moment, you still need to tell people what you do wear. Then you have to talk about your jewelry. Whether it's real or not, you have to talk about it. If you don't mention ice, sparkly, glacier, freezing, cold, one of those um, words to um, identify who you are. So we identify ourselves by what we wear. Um, oh, and then we got to talk about who we hang with. So you got to mention a few other people's names. You know what I mean? And if you're a rapper, especially if you're a rapper, you got to talk about killing people. You got to talk about fighting. No, not even fighting. You got to talk about killing people. You got to talk about the gun. You got to talk about the stick. You got to talk about the weapons you got. Now, here's what I'm thinking. If the average rapper, let's say the average black rapper, because we know the average rapper is black. You got an Eminem out there every now and then. You know, Harlow, Jack Harlow. I'm I'm not mad at you, bro. Please don't please don't think I am. But um so got these black kids running around talking about the guns, the sticks, and you know, murdering people. Now, the average black person, I'm thinking about who they interact with, other black people. So you singing about killing your brothers and sisters and you glorifying it and you letting them know that if you come or not even if you come, if you look at me the wrong way, it's on and popping. And, you know, um, if I don't touch you, I get somebody to, that will. Oh, because in your song, you got to mention the people that you got killing for you. You got to have some young people. They got to be young. And you talk about your young killers. So here we go. The Formula 4 rap song, uh, 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 a hit rap song. Talk about hitting it from behind. You got to talk about having sex, hitting it from behind. You got to talk about different girls, hoes. You got to mention hoes and bitches and hitting it from behind. And then you got to talk about how you don't love them. You got to be rude, rude when you talk about women and put them down in, in the most derogatory way. And then, you know, you got to talk about your jewelry, your car, and your house. 
the clothes, name them by label, and don't forget to talk about your young killers. If you can do all that in your house, you might want to talk about your house and, and oh, and money. Gotta show, talk about money and show money. You know, you gotta like put money up to your ear like you talking like in a cell phone. That's what you gotta do with the money, you know, so you can show everybody. You know, I got a big record deal, I got money, look. Somewhere with that bullshit, you know. But, you know, hey, I can't knock nobody for they hustle, you know what I'm saying? Because I got mine, did mine, and um, will continue to get my grind on. And, and I ain't mad at people for getting their grind on and, and doing them. But what I am mad about is, man, we, we just not the same. Y'all built different. And your loyalty and your fight is against the wrong people, man. Think about the people you interact with on a daily basis. And if you're talking about doing bodily harm and hurting and killing people, you got to be doing it to your own people, your own brothers and sisters. I mean, so it's just going to keep perpetuating. When do we stop? When does the change stop? You know what I'm saying? At some point in time, somebody got to pump the brakes and say, you know what? This ain't okay. I mean, because we don't went from being killed to killing. And I'm talking about, you know, our own selves in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? But um, again... You know, this is one of those steps, you know, we're going to start diving deeper into this thing, you know, and I'm hoping that you guys can stick with me because the place that I'm about to take you is a little beyond. We're going to start talking beyond this realm. We're going to start talking in next dimension. You know what I'm saying? If, and, 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 and if you ready for that ride, man, come on over. So remember, if you hear anything that resonates with you, any truths that you can make applicable, please like, share, give it a thumbs up, folks. Um, please share the content, get it out there. And um, don't forget, live life out loud with purpose.